You know, with all the crazy things I've seen in the online games from people just straight up cheating, I never thought I would see something so dumb in a game where you don't fight other players, you just fight their orcs. And if you kill their orcs, you're not actually killing their orcs at all. Everything is just all for fun, you know? Silliness. And yet, one person out there still, or no, I, I probably shouldn't say one, because when it comes to online conquests, it seems that everyone is doing this up in high rank. Or maybe those are just body counts. I have no clue, but I am more talking about one person out here buying this game over and over and over again. I'm not talking about once, I'm not talking about twice, five, ten, twenty, fifty. I have to say probably a hundred times. I am serious about this. I think they are doing this. And I think I kind of have the proof that they're just doing this, wasting their money, buying this game over and over, setting up Steam accounts, setting up cheetah orcs for people to capture and you know, spread this little virus along to other users. Because that's how I see things here. So um, this happened the other day where I just finished setting up my new computer, which is the one I'm using right now. I'm going to use this for live streaming from now on when I use my... Uh, I mean, when I start doing, you know, various games or my art and whatnot. And I have a friend who I've known for a long time. And she really wasn't much of a gamer until I tried to get her into gaming. And her first, I guess, official game was Shadow of War. And she's been playing it for a good year. She's played some other games too, like Kong and Jet Girls and whatnot. We have fun with that. We tried to see if we could actually find each other's world. Which, the only way to do that, if you had ever played this game before, is if you die to an orc or an log, your world will open up to various users around the world. And they will avenge you, or at least try to anyway. If they die, then that's, you know, it's, a, it's only a one-time thing. So if you die, then someone else gets a chance to avenge them. And it was kind of a bad idea now I think about it, because, I mean, bad idea on the region we were in. We was in Norian, which is like the tutorial level. Like, after you sort of in a way finish the prologue when you get your ring back that's when like the toy begins on how to use the ring how to control other orcs and whatnot you know so it's kind of like a bad place to do that we should, we should probably go to like a uh, lift lab or something like that less people i'm sure because it's, it's a dlc area but after i forced kid myself and she forced kid herself the first thing she got and started yelling in my ear about was an orc with a really unique name a name that i've seen plenty of times but this time i guess the person who made all these body counts changed all of their names because it used to be just a dash dash and a couple of dashes here and there and a star and some more dashes like i made videos of this like a couple of times and i guess they just changed it to star whatever number and a n symbol and that's it. Because that's, that's all I keep seeing now these past couple of days. It's just that. And, you know, she got it. started getting my ear about it. I was like, well, calm down. Calm down, first off. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah, she, she fell in love with the Shadow of War because it was kind of like, uh, I mean, I shouldn't say it kind of. It is, in a way, like Pokemon. You go out and you find all these different unique orcs. You capture them. And then, you know, you have them fight for you like this is pretty much shadow of war shadow of war is like pokemon if you never played it before so if you like pokemon or i, I guess you know and and violence as well you, you may just like shadow of war it's very fun it's not like the game we're on topic here but the game is not really all that serious like the story is serious but once you actually get into the gameplay it's more like a comedy especially when you when it comes to, like fighting the orcs and uh hearing their encounters it's always just it's, it's just senseless, funny blabber. So, anyway. Um, the thing is, though, what I'm trying to say is, is that the name that she got was the same name that I got, like, after uh, I was still looking for her well, and I encountered the same username. But, again, it, it was a totally two different world. So, she entered that one, I entered the other one, and she sent me a screenshot of what her world looks like and compared to mine yeah it was different the only thing that was the same which i keep seeing every time i find this person's world or, or this, this bot world is the level one orc that is the overlord 
And it's always a tower. I guess this person really is a, is a like, huge fan of the tower orc. And that orc is not really a normal orc. Again, I made a video about this uh, either last year or even before that. It's uh, actually Fort Hall. You know, like that orc that saves you. So it's him. And, I mean, it, it's the tower, but the animations that he has on him is set to Fort Hall. So if you somehow, some way, encounter this person's world, which I don't think you can anymore. I'm pretty sure I know the reason why, but I, I'm not going to explain that. Um, I mean, unless it's, you know, Vendetta, like, online, I'm talking about online conquest, there's no way you're going to find the person's world, or these worlds, from whatever they made. Um, but yeah, if you somehow do, you can't kill that Overlord, because it's, again, Fort Hawk, and you can't really kill, like, he, he his, his, the point of Fort Hawk is for him to, which is a rare chance, save you, do some dialogue, and then just run off. You never actually see him in game unless modded of course which some people did and then they put cheated stats on him because you know why not but um yeah you don't you don't see him at all he's just a savior the, the, even the title for it is mysterious savior that's it because you don't you don't see him and for you people who don't know Fort Hall it's basically a developer that was working on this game that had passed away that's it and uh it's really nice how at the end of the game when you beat it they show images of him and little cut scenes of really good music it makes you want to cry which I didn't do I wanted to I didn't know um, but yeah you can't beat that orc at all unless you again switch the orcs animations back to you know the actual orc then you know you, you, you get it but yeah it's uh her world was different than mine again it was the same name but just totally two different worlds here so she beat her orc, her orc was an archer, mine was a uh, a savage, double axe, you know, orc, type of, one of my favorite orcs here. Um, I think she captured hers, I, I got her video actually, I can just put it up right here. Um, because she likes archers, due to the whole like cheating thing she ran into up at higher rank last year or even before that now, I can't remember. Uh, she has nothing but archers and I think, uh, what, what do they call it? Hunters. That's it. That's all she ever had. Maybe she has some savages here and there, I think. But I think every last one of her regions is just nothing but archers. And I think the reason, I mean, the other reason for that is because she loves this certain orc that she found in the DLC by playing. That she loved the DLC, by the way. She loves this plan as a she elf. Um, the Bernie Wings. Did they call Bernie Wings? Uh, the Bernie Wings and the Raven. She, she really loves the way they look. So she just has a bunch of them all over her forts. When it comes to like fighting these cheated orcs, which is again, uh, I gotta make this clear again for people who are like new to this game or whatever, or maybe just just find it in recommendations. I don't know. This game, when it comes to online play, you don't actually kill the other person's orc. Not in friendly conquests, not in friendly pit fights, not in rank conquests or online uh, or, uh, online pit fights. You don't actually kill their orc. It's all just for fun. That's it. So, someone out there, or I guess some people in general, again, especially in high rank, they just want to ruin this game. Kind of like, again, going back to the Team Fortress community, which that game is free to play, by the way. Again, I gotta point that out because what this person is doing, like I said, paying how much is the game when it's on sale? Like, what, uh, I think $8? And then, but it's not on sale, it's like 50 or whatever? Paying that much money just to set up all these body counts to ruin this game for other people. Because again, when it comes to higher rank conquest, you cannot play that unless you are a super good user. Or maybe you have uh, a custom build on your character with the cheat engine or whatever. Or maybe um, you have the Wraith Giver, which... I used to love using it a lot, but it got like really repetitive. Like I, I really, really hated that I had to just keep on using the weight giver over and over and over again in high conquest just so I can try anyway to have some fun. I hate doing that, which is why I just I rather just try my luck and beat them up a normal way, like you know actual gameplay. And your orcs actually do the most damage than, than you do. So long as long as you know you keep them alive, you keep them good. You would still have sort of a way, a normal game. Now, like the only difference is that, again, these cheated orcs, they have like DLC stats on them. 
and they are all broken. And to make things worse, not only are they one hit kill, but they come with a no chance. And again, if you are new to this thing, maybe you got these recommendations, if you don't know what a no chance is, is that when you fall down, you get two tries. If they have a no chance on them, which all of them do, you are not going to survive this. Unless, I guess you're like, you're like me, and you love animations and games, and you still, like, even though it says no chance on it, you it's, it's, it's invisible. Usually when you go down, there's an indicator. You had to, you know, click whatever button on your controller and no keyboard. Why are you playing on the keyboard? I don't know. Um, and, you know, you recover and get back up. No chance. It's totally hidden. So you have to just, like, for me, from what I can tell, you have to wait for a certain animation and then hit a button. Or just instantly just try your luck. I don't know. I, I always wait for the animation and, like, and I'll just hit a button and button and see if it works or not. Most times for me, it, it does. Other times, it doesn't. Yeah, it's uh, it is, it's not fun in high rank at all. It's it's complete madness. It's complete, well, it's it's, it's BS and madness. Because again, all these orcs are cheated. You can't really damage them at all. Some of your orcs can do that, but like the one thing that's really really bad about this is that all these orcs that you are going to encounter if you do actually hit high rank are defender orcs. Back to back to back to back defender orcs are you just going to see? And, and I mean, unless someone out there wants to be creative with their said cheetah orcs this is the only thing you want to see it's just it's the same defender all golden armor the same voice actor and maybe the only difference is that their face uh mask is like uh the, the face paint the war paint on them is probably like green red blue you know yeah that's the, that's it and maybe their names are different but it's just the same defender over and over and over again and those accounts that i see i think those are all just bothered accounts like just bot setups because there's no way out there that someone is just going to have the same repetitive orc in their entire arena screen just the same or ain't no one out there going to be doing that so uh yeah going back to the star person again they have been doing this nonsense for years if something i want to say to you i totally forgot but yeah they have been doing this for years and they are still at it still buying accounts they are still setting up these orcs for you uh, and forcing tyler to die to open up vendetta so people can go in there and try to catch these orcs and then you know keep them and uh, they're, they're probably hoping that these orcs will betray them and you know kill the the player that captured them and then you know spread the virus even more and it's just like it's unplayable because of that and i, I really just cannot believe that someone out here is actually making all these accounts doing this nonsense that is um like literally just wasting your money doing this in a game i have to repeat this again in a game where you don't fight another player, you just fight their orcs, and you don't lose anything. Like, maybe your orc will die in online conquest um, when it comes to, like, rank play, not in a free match. But when it comes to their orcs, if you kill them, nothing. Nothing happens. Even in pit fights, you kill their overlord, it doesn't affect them. It's all just for fun. So, all this stuff is, is kind of way just like side client nonsense, you know? But that is just amazing that someone out here is actually doing that. It's, it's amazing and it's sad. All that money wasted. Probably could get that to your parents or something like that, you know? If you are max level, look out for these orcs. Try to avoid them as much as possible. Because, it's, I'm telling you, it's not fun. If you see, or I guess in this case, you just watch my videos on what they do and what and what they have on them. They are immune to everything. Again, they have DLC traits on them. And sometimes, these orcs will call for backup. And these backup orcs will have, like, every time you kill them, they will have a death drop I, I can't remember the actual word for but every time they die they would drop either curse stun no actually i think it's just both of those because the player knows that they may go into your know, wraith mode to try to kill these orcs so the one thing they would use the most is either curse and or stun now stun to remove all your might and curse to uh, remove all your weight ability so yeah oh and yeah, i get your focus too because it does drain that as well but um yeah and they just keep on they can spam them because they're the orcs as many times as they want so that's all you're going to see over the field all, all you all you're really doing is high rank is just rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and as your orcs cry out for help because they're normal orcs they're not modded and you can't do anything about it because again they're unbeatable i mean unless you unless you either have the wraith giver or what i love to use because i love explosions the threshing sword which is easy to get you know, kill a machine orc or whatever, and you can machine tribe, and you'll eventually get that nonsense. 
um, you're going to have a hard time fighting these orcs. So if you just want to have some fun, stay in low rank or do what I keep telling others that have a hard time in high rank. Just because you don't really get any, like, you, yeah, you win a treasure when you complete a conquest. Whether it be gold ranks, bronze rank, or silver rank. But it's to me, it's, it's all just junk. So, just, you know, go and find the conquest. Find some people to play with or just type in random usernames and, you know, you may get something like that. What I like to do is I, if I want to find some, like, unique names, I would go to Online Pit Fight and, you know, look at this person's name here. And then I would try to, you know, go to Conquest and, you know, see if they have a nice sword or not. So, you know, you, you probably try that. But that's what I want to say, that, like, someone out here is just, I, I can't believe someone, you, you think the Team Fortress 2 community is uh, burning up, but this one person, or maybe it's multiple, I don't know, but I think it is one, because I, I, I forgot to mention it as well. Catherine showed me her screenshot of her online conquest. Her ranking screen or whatever, it had that bot's name on it, and it had another version of the name, which instead of it being two, it was, uh, I think it was four. And I do have a video, which I have not published yet because I've been doing a lot of other things here. Said person who's just making all his body counts around. That person's name was five. It was star five and again with the end symbol. So yeah, it, it's just multiple accounts that make it with that same name. And you cannot find this person's name on Steam and or when you try to search a friendly conquest. You can't do it. I tried plenty of times. You can't. Because you can't make any symbol with well, certain symbol names. You can't. But... You know, things like a star, it would just, it would just be, a, be a, a, a square block if you try to search it up. It's not possible. One of the reasons on Steam when it comes to like searching this person's name and you can't find it is because they haven't set up the profile. It's just, they just bought the game and that was it. I think you need to have the profile set up in order for them to, I mean, in order for you to actually find their profile. I think that's how it works. But that's it though. I, I just can't believe that someone out here is doing that. Actually wasting legit money setting up body counts in a game like this when you don't fight other people just the orcs to ruin it again going back to over there to the team Fortress 2 community those people over there who are ruining the game have an actual goal which is to have the game shut down just for funsies that's all like that's all i can say which will never happen because valve <laughs> makes a lot of money off of that game just like counter-strike community workshops community uh family workshop items so that'll never happen but uh yeah um, I, I just can't believe that's a thing.